How do you determine the future? What is our response to global terrorism? What would your kids be in the year 2040? Until we intentionally groom the owners of the future, the future becomes unpredictable. Join Priest for Wawa and the Center for Sex, Education and Family Life team in this four days junior church that rocks certificate course for junior church teachers. At the junior church that works, your people are equipped with the latest 21st century child development tools for creating a 2040 leader. To attend our next session or to schedule a session for your church, contact Zuria on 070-54-913-76. You can also call Tolu on 080-2859-2284. Also contact us, trainings at sexandfamilycenter.org. We honor you. This is Junior Church that rocks. This is Junior Church that rocks. Center for Sex Education and Family Life. Are we together? Yes. Okay, so a child is a pilgrim. What do you do? Don't lead with your cultural fear of God because there's your own version fear of God. Let's begin to think about creating preventive measures. How do we create pre preventive measures? Let's create a system. Building a system that ensures formidability. So once you create systems, once you have a system, and please, systems are not emotional. So system will address goals and set of goals. We address policy, we address people, we address processes, we address accountability. A child is a decision maker, what do you do? Right. Hey, I can't hear you. Right. You groom them right. So a child is going to show you clues to how he wants to be groomed. Uh, usually when I work with churches on their junior church, usually I come to inspect the junior church and I take the pastors on the top. And I say, well, um, so when we are done with the junior church, because I look at the, I do a profiling of all the children who attend the churches. Uh, and so then I leave the junior church and I take the pastor to a club, a typical club, uh, to see the ambience. Usually they reluctantly follow me. So when I show them the ambience in a club, so I take them back to church and I ask them, sir, put yourself in a child's shoe. If you have visited these two places, where would you like to go back to? They say a club. Now you pick that clue and develop a model which you now build to groom the child right. Especially taking into consideration the personalities of the different children you're dealing with. So, for example, the sanguine child, you know you can't shout on him in front of everybody. You can withdraw. Right? As a matter of fact, he may not even be honest again. He will just be lying and be doing things to please you. And I must say this, that most of us, our understanding of God is actually dependent on uh, the kind of man who was a father that raised us. So knowledge is the first thing when it comes to people, right? Stage one is what? Knowledge. Right now, you can actually go assurance of salvation and there are videos that can teach this thing better, that can play for these children. And when we are talking about knowledge, we are talking about knowing of the child and learning from the child. You know what? Searching for God is religion. Finding God is news. That is what knowledge does. So you understand child development enough to be able to decode something is wrong with this child. Your junior church must be a place where children can speak their mind. So the child has left your children's church. As a matter of fact, the child develops a threat for your faith. Auntie, Auntie, I don't agree. Why don't you agree? Uh, don't you think this way and all of us are reasoning together? You are making them talk. Because if they don't talk out, you know what is in their mind. So you can't say, let's give the children their the right as if we are, we are doing them a favor. Not to give them their right is to rob them. That's why you notice that even when Jesus is talking to his disciples, some of them are objecting, some of them are one of them even calling him aside to scold him. So in your church today, can you pitch your chest that our children are in a protective environment? Which was basically what the British government did for Nigeria. They came here, they formed an ecclesia, and they began to tell us 
that you should wear suit in not sun. So the question is, who should you release children to? That, that was what Jesus wanted to do when he says, make disciples of all nations. Let me tell you how to disciple. You can disciple one on one, but you can disciple wholesale. Is there a consciousness to know that we are no more raising children in the 19th century? This is 21st century. Now, one on one is a long term process because we have to do a lot. But there's a better way to disciple. DSTV is discipling us now. The band is discipling our dance tape. Do you know what the, the music industry is worth? Milk. What's the name of one of these milk? They're going to bring down Jassy as role model to your children. Right? And you're not bothered, you'll say, okay, it's one. So when, and, and look at it this way. They wait patiently for the day they will have opportunity. So what measures are gone at the days when you recruit children to children's church because they just want to join? God at the days. Because once you take over a system, you can have all sale. That's why you cannot evade or avoid tax in the US. Gone are those days. Gone are those days. That's why you cannot go to Dubai and drive through traffic when light is on red. They will catch you. Before you get to where you are going, ticket is waiting. So you are forced, you live right. That's discipleship. Your number one responsibility is to do what? To protect the child. So system is like a production line. Once you compromise one part, it affects the final output. And many people who teach in the children's church are from the church now. Yes. They say they belong to children's ministry now. They have not read one book on children's ministry. They are not following anybody. They have not subscribed to any newsletter. They are not following. It's just, even they don't even, that lesson that they give them, they don't even prepare for it. So, if you have a particular, a, 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 a particular part of the system, they are require someone that you don't like naturally. Right? You put the person there in the interest of the final result. You don't put your younger brother there because he must be part of leadership. The only problem the child has is your ignorance. It's your inability to help. You don't get it. The moment you put your younger brother there, you will compromise a line of production and it does what? It affects the final output. How do you determine the future? What is our response to global terrorism? What would your kids be in the year 2040? Until we intentionally groom the owners of the future, the future becomes unpredictable. Join Priest for Wawa and the Center for Sex Education and Family Life team in this four days Junior Church That Works certificate course for Junior Church teachers. At the Junior Church That Works, your people are equipped with the latest 21st century child development tools for creating a 2040 leader. To attend our next session or to schedule a session for your church, contact Zuria on 070-5491-3776. You can also call Tolu on 080-2859-2284. Also contact us, trainings at sexandfamilycenter.org. We honor you.